after wave, wave after wave, I'm slowly drifting, drifting away, and it feels like I'm drowning. Hello everybody, I am we got two words for you and I'm finally coming back with the, the eps, oops, a video, um, that has my voice in it, yay! So this is a new thing I'm gonna be doing on my channel called the Wave Show Sports. Um, so this is since I'm doing a reboot of the season one. This is episode one of the entire Wave Show. So hello guys. Obviously watch the other ones because yeah. Um, I will be reviewing the Knicks, New York Knicks, my favorite teams. Um, um second round draft pick choices. Um, in my opinion, they're already good choices. Um, Mr. The Nassus dude here, Tenassus, whatever the hell he is, whatever his last name is, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> his brother is the guy f that plays for the Bucks, that's Greek, he's Greek. He played in the D League for Delaware 77s or whatever the hell it is. And, well, the hell is their second pick, but, yeah. I just had to get that guy's name out. And this is C. Anthony Early, or whatever the hell is. However you're supposed to pronounce his name. K. Anthony, or something. He played for Wichita State. He was meant to be a first-round draft pick. Um, I believe fully on that, after watching a lot of his, um, <coughs> highlights. But, remember, you have, we have to think, this is probably... The deepest draft since 2005 in the NBA. So yeah, um, he's a great player. See Anthony Early, he's an amazing player. No homo, because we don't know any of that type of stuff. But he is a um. From looking at a lot of his highlights, he's pretty cool. Um, great inside player. In my opinion, he will be. Um, how do you say this? I'm a little sick, so if I burp or some shit like that, I'll. It's because I'm kind of sick. That's a good. Uh, see right there. Um. Um. Uh, oops. <laughs> um. From a lot of his highlights, he's a great inside player. He is going to kill. I think he could be a rookie of the year. Um, for the Knicks, even drafted by the second, even drafted in the second round, I really don't care. He was like the number one, um, like pros, like the number one people left in the draft. He was like the first way. <sighs> but um, yeah, great steal. Can't believe we actually ended up getting him. I think they were the Knicks would have probably picked him up no matter what because he's a small forward. He could score. Hashtag Carmelo Anthony, please stay. But this guy is going to be a great backup for him. And if he leaves, we have a great guy that can take his spot. I guess. What um, Thanasis Antikanupo, whatever the hell you say his last name. Um, he's the brother of the other of Gre the Greek feet freak. Jesus, <clears throat> I actually have Greek friends, so. It's kind of funny. I gotta tell him tomorrow, maybe. No, and we're not doing anything sexual, so don't think I'm gay. But um, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Um, great inside players again, and I think we need that right now with the stupid uh, Tyson Chandler, Raymond Felton trade thing. Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't have a problem with trading Raymond Felton, but Tyson Chandler. What the hell, man? Best, one of the best centers in the league, and then you're going to trade him? Just because he fell off last season, I think it was due to the fact that he was injured for most of the time. And a lot of people are stupid. But Phil Jackson, I'm not going to lie, may, it may be, might have been a good idea to get him out there anyway, because we need more, we need more cap space. And that was actually a good idea. But I think they're going to end up keeping Jose Calderon. Might trade off Steve Larkin, maybe, I said. 
might um get rid of this dude the other one that they got I don't know he was a another point guard or something like that uh, Jesus Christ I'm fucking tired but um and they got down bear Calderon and down bear are the two people that are gonna keep I think that I'm thinking right this the starting lineup if Carmelo Anthony stays will be Jose Calderon, Monchumper, Melo, um, maybe Stat, we don't know. You gotta see that power forward. And Down Bear. I think that's actually a pretty good um starting lineup. But let's get back to these people. He's the NAS is a great inside player. I'm not gonna lie about that. What the hell? Give me something that looks great. Christ. But um yeah. He is this dude right here. Pretty good inside score. I'm not gonna say I haven't seen because I saw his D League highlights from the NBA. I didn't see anything like shooting wise, but I think he's right there. He's gonna he he can start as a power forward as I'm I'm guessing. So right here, that this dude could start for us. He'd be pretty good. This man right here, um, he was in like the the NCAA MVP thing, Joe's Nasmith or whatever the hell it is award, and I I don't even it's crazy, and how he gets um how this dude gets on the Knicks second round draft pick, I kind of find that unbelievable. Get the hell out of here, man. I kind of find that unbelievable because he was going to be one of the top athletes in college. So he is like he was like number the one of the number one people in college. So it kind of does it make sense? Well, ugh. this has been a steal by the Knicks. I think he's gonna. They're both going to fit in well on the New York Knicks, and I hope so, because I'm a Knicks fiend, and if you ask my friends, that's all I pretty much talk about. That's all I wear, unless it's, I'm wearing the Yankees clothing and or old school type of clothing, or, you know, not old school, but, um, like, let's see. Um, graphic t-shirts, mainly, but I do have a lot of sh shirts that kind of show old, authentic type of looking things, so, or sentimental type of things, I should say, but yeah, this has been the first episode of the rebooted version of Wave Show, and this is Wave Show Sports. Signing off. Today was draft day. 12:30 did not just end, but it ended like 15 minutes ago. But I was doing some stuff. So these guys have been hashtagged next taped. See you guys later.